Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Pronounce this name, I don't know if I did it right. Callio. Callio. So we would like to welcome anyone who's watching us on our channel who's here to see our reaction to their band, Callio. We've done this band once before, Nathan. It was over a year ago, January 2023. So it's been a while. Okay. This is from Christina, her patron request. She goes, hey guys, way back, once upon a time ago, you did a reaction. Ryan said it right. Oh, Callio, thank you. The band from Iceland that did their video on location on an iceberg. The song was called Save Yourself. You guys enjoyed it. Ryan has said that you guys really enjoyed it, but now you would really love to hear something more upbeat. Some of the blues rock that they could do. Oh, cool. So, guys, Ooh. this one should satisfy that itch. Sorry, Nathan, this isn't uh, amongst nature, but it is a live performance. <laughs> okay, because oh. I thought I was going to give me another. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nathan, this isn't your taste and, or something. Nathan is a little bit harder to please. I think people are starting to see that you are. You're a tough sell. It's okay. You're like the Simon Cowell of our group. I like Nickelback more than you do. You oh, to boy. Talk there. Do I have to edit that out? Come on. What are you... <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, keeping you, it's what I love about you guys. Well, thanks, uh, Christina. We hope that's why people like us, too. Okay, uh, Nate, let's do it. I'm happy to be shooting the video here. We feel like it's a historical place. Yeah, I feel like I just walked into the 60s, right? <laughs> it's yeah. just like a time capsule. <laughs> I guess a lot of people stayed here and recorded here, and, and they're still using the same machinery downstairs. And there's some, there's some kind of a vibe here. You can really feel it. It's nice to take something from the place that you're playing, like the sound of the room and and you wanna yeah, it when, I hear, when I hear the place you're playing. Try it all you want, it won't do you no good. So they won't do you no good. And I'm there. It's your baby. Come on, love is alright. Heaven knows they wanna.
see. It's like a, a segment. Oh, it's on HBO. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a segment they do at this place. It's like they're okay. yeah, eight years ago. Wow. So I did double check a couple things because I was like, we heard the talk at the beginning, right? Now, I, this is going to be so naive. And don't get mad at me, people. I'm just I'm just a dumb guy. I don't know everything. I don't know anything, let alone anything. Now, did they sound like they're from Iceland? Don't Iceland people have a different language? And When they're talking, I wouldn't have guessed, oh, they're from Iceland. The other guys, when they talked, they had a bit of an accent. The main guy, he sounded like he was from the States. And maybe he, he, he lives in the States, but... Yeah. He was born in Iceland. He's the oh. lead singer. His name is, oh, I don't, I'm not going to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. So, Yokel, mm. Yokel Julianson, or JJ goes by. So, JJ, cool guy, good looking kid. I don't remember that Iceland performance. I know we probably did enjoy it. I would assume we did. But we asked ourselves something more upbeat, which is interesting. So, we certainly got that here. Mm -hmm. The last album came out th three years ago. So, hopefully, they're working on a new one. This came from their second album that we just heard, which seemed to be pretty successful. Uh, on the charts and what have you, the awards and charts and stuff like that. Mm. So this song is everything I love in a song, meaning I love blues, I love rock, I love crunchy guitar, and I love good vocals, and I love solos, and I love band performance. So this song really nails, and this performance really nails all the above. I, I feel like we're spoiled when we get these kind of Patreon requests because it's so easy to watch and listen to because it touches all the things that I enjoy in, in music. I, just, mm. I love rock and roll, and I love blues, and I love blues rock, and these guys... I just, you never think, oh, Iceland, really? <laughs> like, you don't think blues rock is going to come out of Iceland. <clears throat> they nailed this performance. This is an amazing rock blues performance. I love the tone of their guitars. I love the tambourine and drum at the same time, the back, the backing vocals. These guys are a great, great band. I truly, I don't know why we, it's taken the year. Why mm. is it taking this long for us to hear? I, did we not, I'm not blaming Christina, but I find it odd that we should have heard more of these guys by now. Like, I want to see more live performances now from these guys. Yes, absolutely. This is exactly like you said. It's the kind of music. It checks so many of the boxes for us. For me specifically, I love a, a live performance in these intimate little settings. We've seen a couple of, mm -hmm. of bands do this. Maybe not surrounded like they did, but similar to this, where it's just a, it's all done in one, one location. And yeah, I, I really uh, like this kind of performance. Absolutely, 100%. That's the kind of, of sound I like to hear. That crunchy blues, the like, I love the drummer's kind of the way he's working with the crowd and he's got, he's like banging the tambourine. And it made me want to play. It, it actually, what it made me want to do, it made me want to mm. play again. Blues is so much fun to play and there's, it's not that hard to play. Like, as, as far as music goes, once you've figured out how a blues structure goes, then you can kind of play with that blues structure and it's, it's mm -hmm. not like particularly. You know challenging to jam along with someone who plays the blues because you've got four chords and you can just stay in that key and solo with it and anyway i quite enjoyed it maybe you want to jam for sure 100 percent. let me just tag what you're saying well, with difficulty let me be clear i know you didn't mean anything by that but let me just tag this by saying difficulty does not excite me i don't get excited by difficult these prog oh, bands yeah. sometimes like yeah. rush i'm sorry it's uh, like the band Look at all the changes we can do. We're going this way. Now we're going this way. And mathematically speaking, look at our sound beat change with the 12 over 6 times three. Like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. I, that's cool. But I don't want to look at a mosaic or like, um, you know, those, what do you call those uh, really weird paintings? And like, it might be harder to do a certain type of painting. Mm. But I just, sometimes I just want to. Tap my feet and doom, doom, or doom, or doom, doom, boom, boom. I want to move, I want to groove. I like that's why I like the blues. It's because mm. it's it's like the framework of rock and roll. It just has a move and groove and beat, which I enjoy. I don't need complicated in my life. My life's complicated enough. I got a wife and kids and job. Mm. I don't need. I just want to listen. I just want to listen. Probably my favorite music of all time to watch is Stevie Ray Vaughan playing the blues, and not because it's not complicated i think there's actually tons of complexity to what he's doing but it's all within a certain key and so stop <laughs> let's just end this thing would you jeez this is going way too long this, all right bye beast to bed goodbye thanks everyone no, but... see you next one <laughs>